Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the beautiful story of Caesar, a eight-year-old German Shepherd who is owned by one of my patients. My name is Mallory. I'm a physician of classical Chinese medicine, and today we're going to be talking primarily about small changes that you can make that are very easy to your dog's diet and the foods that they eat to really keep them at optimal health throughout their entire life. Each week that I would see this particular patient, she would explain to me Caesar's symptoms and how he just wasn't getting better and she wasn't sure what to do. As any loving pet owner, she was extremely concerned. Finally, at one appointment, we were able to dive really deep into what Caesar was experiencing and what Caesar was eating on a regular basis. She had told me that Caesar was lethargic, not interested in play. He would sigh often. His joints showed noticeable discomfort and that he just simply wasn't completely present as she once knew him to be. His eyes were clouding over and his coat was also becoming very coarse. I want you to watch the first before video of Caesar. This is before dietary changes were made and then the second video following afterwards, which is when the dietary changes had taken place over just three short days. Pretty amazing, huh? Caesar responded exceptionally well to the dietary suggestions within just three days. This is because his body was craving and needed the dietary re recommendations that I had made. So the first recommendation that I made was that my patient give Caesar a small amount of local honey every single day. The reason for honey is because we need glucose. Dogs need glucose too and glucose is sugar glucose is what keeps us up and running fueled thinking clearly it also helps to keep our joints and our muscles well moistened and it's food for every single one of our organs the second recommendation that I made was that she give him a decent amount of of coconut oil once a day. Coconut oil is an excellent fat and it's also going to help keep the joints from going crick, 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 providing them moisture. It's also really good for a dog's coat and their hair, just like substantial fat in plant-based form is really good for our skin, hair, and nails as well. I also suggested that my patient follow close dietary suggestions that I feed my own dog, Sloan. Here she is. Sloan has been eating this way since she was about a year old, and she also is eight, and she acts like she's three. Sloan does get honey and coconut oil on a regular basis. However, she doesn't get it to the dose and frequency that I was recommending for Caesar simply because she didn't have a deficiency in those vitamins and minerals to the extent that Caesar did, which means she doesn't need to consume them as often as I was suggesting for my patient. When people come over to my house, they're always so blown away by what I feed Sloan. And the reason for that is because I feed her real food. Kibble is just not enough. I don't care how great your kibble is, how expensive it is, what's listed in the ingredients, it's still compacted hard food that the dog's digestive system has to break down. And plus they're not really even getting the substantial nutrition that's a available within those foods simply because of the processing that happens to those foods. Sloan gets every single food group. She gets meat, she gets fruit, she gets grains, and she gets vegetables. She gets these every single day mixed in with her kibble. So I feed her Earthborn Kibble. This is not a sponsored video, but it's a brand that I really like and I trust, and she's been eating their brand and variety for her whole life. So I give her the kibble and then I give her a substantial amount of real food. 
whether a dog is in your house or they're out in the wild, they're going to find this food no matter what. They're gonna be eating berries on the ground, they're going to be finding meat, and they're certainly gonna be finding grains and some raw vegetables as well. Sloan gets everything cooked and prepared for her. So anything that I cook, she gets to. If I'm in a pinch, I always have frozen peas and carrots, wild blueberries and tuna, and maybe even some squash for her. So just like us, you know, we get takeout or we need something quick in a pinch. Well, you wanna make sure that you're prepared for your dog as well when you need to be in a pinch. So the frozen foods and the canned foods are really good for them too. Sloan also takes Chinese herbs, but that's another topic. I'm not a vet, but I know dietary health very well. And dogs' physiology and organs are the same as ours. They filter and move in the same way. Their heart beats just like ours does, and they excrete urine and bowels just like we do. So why not give your dog full, healthy nutrition that's gonna keep them living a long life? I hope that you found the information in this video very useful and that it's something that you think about doing for your dog so that they can live a long healthy life and most importantly keep you out of the vet's office and away from vet bills please leave any questions or comments that you have down below i'm happy to answer them thank you and i'll see you next time